Hi, Kevin Coop here, and this is FaceTime with the Content Guy. You know, I've been doing FaceTime videos uh, here on Morning News Beat for almost exactly nine years. I went back and checked on the on the YouTube Morning News Beat channel, and uh, in fact, I did my first one on January 27th, 2011. At least they think it's me. The guy doing them, his hair was a lot darker than it is now. But the, uh, the thing is, while my hair may have changed color over the years, my wardrobe really hasn't. One of the things I noticed as I was looking at a lot of the videos is that, you know, I've always pretty much been in jeans and, and, and sports shirts, uh, mixing in the occasional sweater or jacket, baseball cap, maybe a blazer from time to time if I get feeling really radical about things. But pretty much my wardrobe is, uh, has been pretty much the same. In fact, there was one I saw from March of 2011, the shirt I'm wearing in that video. I'm pretty sure that it was a shirt, the same shirt I was wearing yesterday. So my, my wardrobe tends to uh, really hold up well over the years. And almost all the pieces that have held up the best over the years have been from L.L. Bean. You know, a lot of my wardrobe is from Bean. And in fact, I think of it as being perfect for me. It, it is sturdy. It is basic. It is functional. It's exactly what I, I need in my life. Uh, now, someone might say that L.L. Bean clothing is sort of staid. In fact, that's the word that was used in the New York Times in a, in a piece that is uh, that ran yesterday. And it's an article about how for the first time uh, in its history, Bean is actually, Bean clothing or Bean styled clothing is going to be appearing on a runway at the Todd Snyder event at the New York Men's Fashion Show. Now, Owen Kelly, who's a, an L.L. Bean vice president, basically said, the goal is to get a new set of eyes, okay? It, it's not that they're unhappy with their customers. In fact, they're fanatically loyal to their customers. But the goal is to get a new set of eyes and expose the brand to, to new people, which is really, really smart. And they thought that Todd Snyder, who's doing the event and has been working with Bean on this new line of clothing, is the right guy because he sort of respects the brand, respects the heritage, and has the same sort of commitment to an outdoors kind of functionality. Um, and Todd Snyder said, listen, our goal is to um, um, don't insult L.L. Bean, take them to a new place. And what they want to do is they want to forage, they want to find, and, and, and then they want to elevate. And I think those are all really, really smart things to do. Um, and I think that's a really good lesson for lots of brands, right? I mean, L.L. Bean is a, is a pretty conservative co a company, right? It's, it is a um, privately held. The Bean family still controls it. And yet it's been interesting to watch them expand uh, from a marketing po point of view over the years, trying new things, opening brick and mortar stores, trying different kinds of formats, uh, and now trying something like this where they're getting a little bit fashion forward. Not too much. They're going to use traditional, um, the traditional looks, traditional uh, fabrics, uh, and, but, but try and bring them into a, a, a new place. Apparently, the original L.L. Bean was a pretty natty dresser. So this sort of, you know, goes back to the com company's more than 100 year uh, tradition. Uh, again, this is the kind of thing that brands have to do if, if they're going to be uh, smart. doesn't matter if a brand is, is sturdy and functional and basic. Sometimes you got to grow your brand. You know, Rod Laver uh, once said that the time you're most vulnerable in a, in a tennis game is when you're ahead. L.O. Bean is clearly ahead. Things are working well, but now is not the time to let down. And I would say that to virtually every brand out there, even the ones that are in, in, in first place. You never let down your guard. You never stop playing hard. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.